After years of wishing and a month long planning, we finally arrived at our first destination, Geneva, Switzerland. We landed at about 11 am local time. Suitcase, suitcase everywhere, but ours was not amongst them. The airline staff finally located it and it was in Paris and it could only reach us in the next flight after a few hours. But problem was, we were in Geneva only for today. We did not have time. What do we do? We will wait for 3-4 hours for luggage. So, Geneva will stay in Geneva. And tomorrow we have our train. We will take a risk and take a risk. There is one chance to go to Geneva. We will leave Geneva today. Let's go to Geneva. The rest will be seen. There are self-service kiosks at the airport that give you local travel passes. This ticket will now take us to the central station in Geneva. We are taking a train to the central station and from there we figured out a tram route to our hostel. On the train and out comes our map to plan the day at Geneva. At the Geneva central station, a short walk away are a couple of tram stations. We read the map and understood that the brown line takes us to the hostel. Oh, and by the way, the tram ride is also included in the pass that we got at the airport. The Geneva hostel was just about a mile away. It was easy to find. The hostel was neat and clean. The gentleman at the reception helped us check in quickly and also offered to keep our hand luggage at the reception until we got back to our rooms. After eating the food of the night, we had a lot of food and we had a very fast food. So, we found a pizza place in the hostel very fast. Here, we had a yummy Swiss cheese pizza. And the food was very good. Now, we are going to Geneva. 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 The prominent destination is United Nations headquarters. Say. Bonjour from Geneva. Bonjour. Abhi hum hai broken chair monument ke samne and we are right outside United Nations which we will try to show you better. So follow us. With one broken leg, the symbolism of the broken chair is an opposition for landmines. And this is the United Nations buildings with all the member state flags right in front of it. And this is actually right opposite the broken chair monument. Our next destination is towards the old city and we took a tram to reach Plaza de New. And here's a tip from us. When you stay in a Swiss hotel or hostel and pay for the city tax, in return you get a travel pass for the duration of your stay. This includes travel in all city transportations and visit to museums and galleries. And we recommend to walk around this beautiful city to really explore it. Our next destination was the Reformation Wall near Old City. While walking to the Reformation Wall, we came across this beautiful uphill road and we thought we'd go up there to see the view of the whole city. And it was a gorgeous view. So we were up there. Now we are going to walk down here. This is located in the grounds of University of Geneva and full of recreational spaces all around. Reformation Wall is a historically important monument in Geneva. It represents the importance of fortification and reformation in Geneva. There were people playing table tennis, mini golf, chess. And this was a glimpse for us of the work-life balance in Switzerland and Europe as a whole.
and then we had to climb all the way up to go to the old city our next destination the archives as soon as we entered the old city we came to the archives which is the home of these famous cannons of geneva these cannons were used in the war with the french and have been here as a testimonial to those times the murals look like they are out of a book so pretty The cobbled ground is actually from the original construction period. Ab next kaha ja rahe hain hum? Ab hum jayenge St Peter's Cathedral. A short walk away to the right of the archives is the St Peter's Cathedral, our next destination. We read up that the church has seen turmoil for centuries. It was actually destroyed during the reformation in Geneva. The interior is very simple and minimalistic. The stained glass windows add a pop of color to this whole space. This prayer space just of the aisle with the grand roofing intricate work all across including the beautiful stained glass paintings was my favorite part of the cathedral Out of the cathedral and into this beautiful plaza now we were moving to the museum of art and history we absolutely wanted to make it before closing time This is the only museum that we could fit into our half day Geneva plan and look how grand and amazing the building looks. The sheer scale of this historic building, the fantastic stained glass windows, wonderfully curated artwork and galleries was definitely worth a visit. and all of this comes free with the geneva city pass and from the museum off we went to the geneva lake front with pristine turquoise waters The scenic lake front was our perfectly timed destination for sunset hours. The Geneva lake is massive. There are literally towns on the other side of the lake. We took one of these yellow boats to cross the lake. And there is the famous jet. The ride was a short one about 5 6 minutes but we had a fantastic experience riding through the sunset Once we reached by boat to the other side we spent a lot of time around this beautiful lake front enjoying the sunset views and also our hostel was just a few blocks away we had a yummy lebanese platter for dinner from a nearby place before going back for the day we then walked back to our hostel and were ready to go to our rooms for the first time since we left bangalore and here we go this is a twin room a private room in this hostel which was good enough for us for the night and wait for it this is the fantastic view for which we booked this place the next day we are off to our second destination if you liked our vlog please like and subscribe to our channel